Miklos Radnoti stands as a significant figure in Hungarian literature, a beacon of poetic brilliance whose life and work continue to inspire generations. He is known for his poignant poetry and tragic life, a life that was marked by both profound creativity and immense suffering. Radnoti's works reflect his personal struggles, his Jewish identity, and the horrors he witnessed during World War II. His poetry captures the essence of a turbulent era, offering a deeply personal perspective on the atrocities of war and the persecution faced by Jewish communities. His words resonate deeply with readers, offering a glimpse into the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity. Each poem is a testament to his unyielding spirit and his ability to find beauty amidst chaos. Through his poetry, Radnoti's legacy endures, reminding us of the importance of memory and the power of art to transcend even the darkest of times. His handwritten manuscripts, preserved in libraries, serve as a bridge connecting us to his thoughts and emotions. Radnoti's life was tragically cut short but his voice continues to speak to us through his writings. His poems, often written in the most dire of circumstances, reflect a profound sense of hope and an unwavering belief in the human capacity for goodness. His poems serve as a testament to the human spirit's ability to find beauty and meaning, even in the midst of suffering. They remind us that even in the darkest times, art and literature can provide solace, understanding, and a sense of shared humanity. Radnoti's legacy is not just in his words, but in the enduring impact they have on all who read them, inspiring us to reflect on our own lives and the world around us. Miklos Radnoti was born in Budapest, Hungary in 1909 his early life was marked by profound loss. His mother and twin brother died during childbirth, a tragedy that cast a long shadow over his childhood. Raised by relatives, Radnoti carried the weight of this early trauma. Despite these hardships, young Miklos found solace in the world of words. He developed a love for literature and began writing poetry at an early age. Radnoti excelled in his studies. He pursued a degree in Hungarian and French literature at the University of Szeged. University life provided him with an intellectually stimulating environment. He immersed himself in literary circles, engaging in discussions and debates. It was during this time that Radnoti began publishing his poems. His early works explored themes of love, nature, and the search for identity. As Radnoti's literary career began to flourish, the political climate in Hungary took a dark turn. The rise of anti-Semitism cast a shadow over his life and career. As a Jew, Radnoti faced increasing discrimination and persecution. Despite the growing hostility, Radnoti refused to be silenced. He continued to write, his poems often reflecting the anxieties and fears of a community under threat. Section 5. Early Works Exploring Love, Nature and Identity Radnoti's early poems showcased his developing style and his engagement with personal and societal themes. He often wrote about love, finding solace and inspiration in our relationship. Nature, too, served as a recurring motif, offering moments of tranquility and reflection. Throughout his work, Miklos grappled with questions of identity, both as a Hungarian and as a Jew facing growing persecution. His poems reflected a deep connection to his homeland and a growing sense of unease about the future. Section 6 A poetic voice Matures Style and themes As Radnoti matured as a poet, his style became more refined, evolving with each passing year. His themes grew more profound, reflecting the complexities of his inner world and the turbulent times he lived in. 
he experimented with different forms and techniques, constantly pushing the boundaries of his craft. Drawing inspiration from both classical and modern influences, Radnoti created a unique poetic voice that resonated deeply with his readers. His poetry was characterized by its lyrical beauty, its emotional depth, and its unflinching honesty. Each poem was a window into his soul, revealing his hopes, fears, and dreams. Radnoti's later works often explored themes of social injustice, political oppression, and the human condition in times of crisis. He was unafraid to confront the harsh realities of his world, using his poetry as a means of resistance and expression. The backdrop of World War II and the rise of fascism in Europe had a profound impact on his writing. His poems from this period are marked by a sense of urgency and a deep empathy for the suffering of others. His Jewish identity, once a source of personal reflection, became intertwined with his experiences of persecution and discrimination. This duality added a rich layer of complexity to his work. Radnoti's poetry serves as a poignant reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. His words continue to inspire and move readers, offering a timeless testament to the power of art in times of darkness. Section 7. War's Cruel Grip, Labour Camps and Forced Marches With the outbreak of World War II, Radnoti's life took a tragic turn. He was drafted into forced labour service in 1940, enduring harsh conditions and constant fear. His experiences in labour camps exposed him to the horrors of war firsthand. Despite the brutality he witnessed, Radnoti continued to write. He documented his experiences in poems and letters, bearing witness to the suffering around him. Section 8. The Lost Notebook Poems from the Brink In 1944, Radnoti was forced on a death march towards Austria with other Jewish prisoners. He was weak and ill but he carried with him a notebook filled with his latest poems. These poems, discovered after the war, offer a harrowing glimpse into the final days of his life. The poems in this lost notebook are raw, powerful and deeply moving. They speak of despair, resilience and the enduring power of love in the face of unimaginable cruelty. Section 9 a legacy forged in suffering. Miklos Radnoti was murdered by Hungarian fascists in November 1944. His life was marked by the turbulence and horrors of World War II, a period that saw the rise of fascism and the persecution of countless individuals. Radnoti, a Jewish Hungarian poet, was targeted for his heritage and his outspoken resistance against the oppressive regime. His body was exhumed after the war and the notebook of poems was found in his coat pocket. This notebook, filled with his final works, became a poignant symbol of his enduring spirit and the resilience of the human soul. The poems, written under the most harrowing conditions, reflect his unyielding hope and profound humanity. His death, like his life, was a tragic loss. But his legacy lives on through his extraordinary poetry. Radnotti's works capture the essence of his experiences, blending personal anguish with universal themes of suffering and redemption. His ability to find beauty amidst despair has touched the hearts of many. Radnotti's works have been translated into numerous languages ensuring that his voice continues to reach new generations. His poetry, once a whisper in the darkness, now echoes across the world, inspiring readers with its raw emotion and timeless relevance. 
Each translation opens a new window into his soul, allowing his message to transcend cultural and linguistic barriers. He is remembered as one of the most important Hungarian poets of the 20th century, a testament to the power of art to endure even in the darkest of times. Radnotti's life and work remind us that even in the face of unimaginable suffering, the human spirit can create